to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing hydration and humidity tips for chameleons because it's probably the most challenging part about owning chameleons and it is so important when it comes to giving them the proper care. So I thought I made this video already but apparently I have it so we're finally going to get to it today. So we're just going to dive right in and we're going to start off with my tips regarding hydration. So my very first tip regarding hydration for chameleons is that they need to see movement in order to hydrate themselves. So this means that they will not ever be drinking from standing water. So if you give them a water bowl, that's not something that they're gonna use to hydrate themselves. So that is, a, I feel like most people know about this when it comes to chameleons, but if you haven't done research yet and you're just diving in, that is a huge thing. People that typically don't do research tend to make this mistake and then they end up with very dehydrated and a sick chameleon and you obviously don't want that to happen. So with having movement and water that they can actually hydrate themselves with, there are other ways in order to do that. One way is through misting down the enclosure, which you should be doing every morning and night. We're gonna get a little bit more into that when I talk about the humidity. But when you spray down the enclosure, they will see all of these little fresh water driplets and they will drink that up. Um, so it really just depends on them seeing the movement with their eyeballs. It's the same thing for them to wanna eat. So they really look for that movement. And when you're just spraying down an enclosure, there's gonna be a lot of trickling and little water droplets here and there. And you will notice from time to time, sometimes they can be pretty discreet and they like to hide when they hydrate themselves, but sometimes you can catch them just licking some of the moisture off of the leaves in order to stay hydrated. Um, and then another thing that is so fundamentally important when it comes to hydrating chameleons is having a drip system. So you can either buy them at reptile stores or regular pet stores even, um, or you can just make your own. I do buy mine, but you can just make your own. You literally can just use like a water bottle or clean out a milk gallon, something like that, and just pop a little hole in it. And then when you fill it with water, it'll just drip throughout the day into your enclosure. And the chameleon will see that movement and will know that it is a good place to go hydrate itself if it's feeling dehydrated during the day. So that is typically like the best thing that you possibly can do just to make sure that they always have the option during the day in order to drink something. Another thing to avoid um, when it comes to hydrating your chameleon is to avoid any of the waterfalls. You may think that that's a good idea because obviously a waterfall is constantly moving so it would appeal to a chameleon and some people do use them and it does work and they do drink from it. However, those things can just get very, very dirty and they're full of bacteria. So that's why I don't recommend using them for chameleons because like the thought does make sense to use it in the first place and it seems like a cool idea. But over time, it can end up being pretty dangerous to your chameleon's health just if it's not clean enough. So I would just completely scratch that and stick with misting in a drip system for your chameleon to make sure that it's hydrated. And then the last way that your chameleon will get a lot of its hydration is through the food that it's going to be eating. So chameleons should be eating live insects uh, because movement is so important for them to eat. They need to be able to see the movement of a live bug. So if you try to feed them a dead or the freeze dried insects that they sell at pet stores, that's not going to entice them. And that's also going to be severely lacking the moisture that they need in order to stay hydrated. So that's why it's so important to gut load your insects with healthy greens and veggies. I like to use this too for my feeder insects just to give them a little bit more nutrients when they're eating. But all of those things combined into just giving your chameleon live, healthy, moist insects will really help to keep them hydrated the way that they're supposed to be. And my last tip regarding hydration is foggers. So some people think that if they use a fogger, that that will help to keep their chameleon hydrated during the day. And unfortunately, that's not the case. Fog systems do not create water droplets. So it's not gonna be anything that's gonna hydrate them. It will increase the humidity, which is the water vapor in the air. So we're gonna get into that in the next topic, but just try to keep in mind that if you're trying to hydrate your chameleon, a fogger is not going to be adequate for that situation. So now we're gonna dive into the humidity. So this does really depend on the species that you have as it does vary from different species to different species. 
Um, so you do want to make sure that you're keeping that in check. That way you can keep it in the right range for your chameleon. Um, but it basically is just the amount of water vapor that is in the air. If it's too dry of an environment for your chameleon, it may have a hard time shedding, it may be dehydrated, and it can also lead to respiratory infection, which is really, really not good. You don't wanna deal with any illnesses with chameleons because they're such sensitive animals. So it's best to just try to keep the environment in the way that it's supposed to be and keep those humidity levels on check. So my first tip regarding humidity for chameleons is that, um, from the species that I have kept so far, which is panthers and veiled chameleons, they typically need a higher humidity at nighttime. That's when it should be the highest humidity of all. And then you do want another spike in the morning. And then throughout the day, they should have a dry period. So this is a huge mistake that I see all the time because people will see that chameleons need high humidity levels but they think that it should be consistent like that throughout like the entire day. So they will have like a super sopping wet environment for their chameleon all day long because they think that that's gonna keep the humidity in the type of range that it's supposed to be. And that's just a huge misconception and it's very false. So for example, panther chameleons should have 50 to 60% humidity during the day. And at nighttime, they need 75 to 100%. Veiled chameleons, um, they have a little bit lower of a requirement during the day. And then at nighttime, they also need to be around like the 75 to 100% humidity at nighttime. So I feel like it does kind of go across the board for all chameleons, although I'm not going to say that as a fact because I haven't kept other species and they may have different requirements, but most of them do need that really big spike of humidity at nighttime. So you do want to make sure that the environment is typically dry during the day. That way they have enough ventilation for everything to kind of dry out a little bit because if you over saturated and keep it overly moist that can also cause illness in your chameleon and it can also lead to a lot of bacteria and a dirty environment so that's why it's so important to make sure that you really spike that humidity at nighttime and then let it dry out during the day so my schedule typically is that every single morning i will spray down the chameleon's enclosures and then i leave it dry during the day and then at nighttime i do a really really heavy misting at nighttime right before i turn the lights off that way they can really have that big spike in humidity that should last throughout the night. It does last a little bit longer at nighttime because when you turn the lights off, it's not gonna be drying out that moisture. So that really helps to retain the humidity over nighttime. So now I'm gonna talk about some alternative ways in order to increase your humidity for the environment for your type of chameleon. The first one is the fogging system. So again, the fogging system will not hydrate your chameleon, so it is important to make sure that you're still misting as needed and using a drip system, but the fogger will just overall increase the overall humidity for the enclosure. So if you are having really, really dry nights, depending on where you live and the environment that you have, um, it might be a good idea because they need such high humidity at nighttime to use a fog machine at nighttime. Another way that I use for mine that really, really helps with keeping the humidity up is using a PVC enclosure. So a lot of people typically go with the Repti Breeze or screen enclosures for their chameleons because they do need such a high ventilation. However, that high ventilation makes it very, very challenging to keep the humidity up. There are different ways to do it, of course. Um, I actually babysat chameleons before I had my own panther chameleons years ago. And this guy, he had an entire chameleon room. It was so amazing. The chameleons could just come and crawl out on all of these trees and vines and plants throughout the room. And he had multiple humidifiers going. That way they got the full ventilation, but the entire room was just very, very humid in order to keep that humidity up for his chameleons. However, I don't really want to do that because I'm keeping other species like my bearded dragon in this reptile room and I don't want to be making the whole entire room overly humid for species that don't need that because that can also be dangerous. So I find that using the PVC enclosures for my panther chameleons really does help to increase that humidity and retain it for them. 
Um, but I do want to mention, so my PVC enclosures are from Zen Habitats. They are the two by two by fours. And because they're keeping that humidity up, ventilation is still very, very critical and important. So if you do want to go with a Zen Habitats enclosure like mine, um, they do come with an option under the door for a screen or for acrylic. And I would recommend to use the screen because you do want to make sure that they are getting that ventilation. It will work as a chimney effect. So they have the screen on the top of the enclosure, they have the screen under the door, and if you do need added ventilation during the day, sometimes I do depending on like the temperature and how things are here, then you can just use a fan and the fan will just go right into the enclosure and give it that ventilation that it needs during the day. But other than that, the PVC just really helps to retain that humidity. So I absolutely love using the Zen Habitats for my panther chameleons. If you guys are interested in that, my affiliate link is in my description but it can work for other species as well. So yeah, I just had to mention that because it really has helped a lot with my chameleons. Another thing that most people should be doing anyway, but it also is just a bonus that it helps out with humidity is live plants. So live plants are critical because chameleons need a lot of foliage, things to climb on and things to hide in. And they can also use all the different leaves and things in order to hydrate themselves with all of those little water droplets. Um, but all of those plants will also just help to boost the humidity of the overall enclosure as well, which is fantastic. Again, with plants, you do want to make sure that they are reptile safe. Um, some chameleons are known, like especially veiled chameleons, they will snack on the plants here and there. So it is very important to make sure that they are safe for your chameleon and non-toxic. Um, you also want to make sure that they do not have any chemicals, pesticides, or anything like that on them. So if you buy them, I get a lot of mine from Home Depot. You want to make sure that you thoroughly rinse it off before you put it in your chameleon's enclosure just to make sure that when they do drink those water droplets off of the plants, they will not be getting any of those chemicals in their body. And the last way that you can increase the humidity of your chameleon setup is using a bioactive soil. Any type of soil that can retain moisture will help to increase humidity levels. I do not want to use a bioactive substrate for my chameleons because they definitely need that added ventilation since they're in PVC enclosures. So because of that, I just keep a bare bottom, which is totally fine. You can either use a bare bottom for your chameleons or you can go bioactive. But if you are having a hard time and looking for other creative ways in order to increase the humidity, the bioactive substrate will definitely help you with that. So those are all of my tips regarding hydration and humidity. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.